This courtesy of Chase Doak. He's a resident of Billings, Montana. He was one of the first Montana residents to spot this up in the sky. Uh, and this is video and photos that we have uh, from him. Well, I spoke with him earlier this afternoon in an interview. I got uh, kind of his thoughts uh, about all of this uh, now that he has become kind of a part of this major news story as well, even as it moves its way uh, across the United States. We don't really know its trajectory. It seems like it's going in a southeast pattern. I want to play out now this interview I did with Chase Stoke to get his reaction uh, about what he first thought it was when he saw it in the sky. And in our continuing coverage of the Chinese spy balloon, we want to speak to uh, someone who captured it all on video, really the first person who saw it, at least from the ground, uh, and that is Montana resident there, Chase Doak. Uh, you captured this, Chase, uh, on your cell phone. You were just looking up into the sky. When you first saw it, what did you think it was? Honestly, I didn't have any idea, but when I first uh, caught a glimpse of it out of the corner of my eye, I thought it was maybe a star or a planet, but the sun was still up, and so I, I knew that it really couldn't be. Um, so when I locked my eyes on it, I just saw a big round disk in the sky. It honestly looked like a, a tiny moon. Knowing uh, what it is now, what do you make of it? Uh, because you have been kind of swept all into this story because of that video, but what do you make of it now you know what it is? Um, I, I, you know, I'm a little bit, uh, you know, disturbed that that a surveillance balloon, if, if that is in fact what it was, uh, made it this far into our country and was, was hovering over my hometown. Um, I, I didn't feel threatened by it when I saw it, <laughs> but I, it, it's, it's been a shock for sure. Yeah. Did any of your friends or family see it? Uh, have you spoken to a lot of people in your hometown? Uh, are they all talking about this? Yeah, I actually made a point uh, when I first spotted it to first call a friend of mine at the local newspaper where I used to work. Uh, and then I, I called my girlfriend and one of my good friends who has had a, a UFO experience of his own. And I wanted to get his uh, reaction to it as well. And so uh, I, I made sure that several people saw it. And, and I've heard from other people around the area who have spotted it. So. so you just said UFO. Did that go through your mind first, uh, that this was a UFO? Did you think of that immediately when you saw it? Um, I mean, I, I tried to rule out everything I could um, as soon as I could. But uh, yeah, it it was definitely something that crossed my mind. I've always been a skeptic, but I, I definitely needed to consider the possibility. And, and until it was identified, uh, you know, it was a UFO to me, so. Yeah. So you said, and I'm getting the sense, uh, you weren't necessarily, you know, scared or perturbed, but you were concerned. Now China's saying it's not being used for any surveillance, intelligence gathering purposes. They called it a uh, civilian airship. Do you buy that? I, I don't. I honestly don't. Um, and whether it was a civilian airship or not, it's a it's a non-standard aircraft that came into our airspace uh, without any warning. And so I, I think whatever it was and whatever its purpose was, it needs to be retrieved and it needs to be investigated. Do you think it should be shot down? Uh, a lot of at least, you know, some prominent Republicans are calling for that. The Biden administration and the Defense Department have said, no, they're not going to do that. What would you want to see? I, I want it to be brought down safely. Um, so I don't know if, if shooting it down is the best, best method, uh, given that uh, in my photographs and my video, there appears to be a pretty sizable um, either solar panel array or some type of electronics array on it. I, I think it does pose a hazard if you just shoot it down. But I do think that they need to bring it down to the ground one way or another. And this is as good a time as any to come up with a uh, means to do that. Yeah. I mean, as we are speaking right now, this is pre-recorded, but I believe right now it's over somewhere in Missouri, uh, kind of the central U.S. Um, has anyone reached out from, you know, state government, the federal government the, uh, about this? Uh, have you heard from any officials, you know, wanting to talk to you about your experience or video? No, I haven't heard from any uh, government officials whatsoever. Um, my friend, Larry Mayer, who is the 
uh, photo editor at the Billings Gazette here. Um, he spoke to some of the aviation agencies. Uh, he's a pilot, and so he's had contact with them in the past and knew who to talk to about it. And that, I think, kind of got the ball rolling on getting this thing out in the open and, and getting the investigation started. And just lastly, uh, you said you used to work at your local paper, you know, journalist to journalist. What does it mean to you that you were kind of caught up in this huge story uh, with the video that you took? It's kind of surreal, is it not? Yeah, it's very surreal. Um, I mean, it's I, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't exciting. Um, you know, I, this is certainly not something I ever expected to be caught up in. And when I was taking photos of it, at best, I thought maybe I would get a good shot of a you know flying saucer or something like that. Um, at worst, I thought maybe I just took a photo of a cool um, science experiment of some kind, you know. But I, I really, honestly, never thought that I was going to be caught up in something like this. And and it has been wild. It's really been surreal. All right, Chase Doak, we appreciate your time. I know you must be uh, pretty busy right now, uh, and we have been seeing your video all over uh, the news, the airwaves, and we appreciate it. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, we thank Chase there for uh, kind of telling us his story. Uh, when he looked up into the sky just yesterday, he captured this on his cell phone uh, of it uh, against a solidly blue backdrop there in big sky country. It's now hovering over the uh, parts of the central United States. This live look there in Missouri, you can kind of make it out. It's very faint now, now that uh, nighttime has fallen.